Hey everybody, welcome back. I can't believe it either. Two Isaac episodes recorded in the same blue shirt. It's more likely than you think. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take a risk on this to begin with. Why not? Oh, that right, that's right, because these are always a joke. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> my mistake, my mistake. I'll put down my sword. I got another freaking sword. I'm not ready for this room. I can, I'll tell you just to begin with, my brain looked at that um, situation there and said, Whoa! It said Pog! No, it said old me could have dodged that, but I don't know if you got the stuff right now. And and they were right. I didn't have the stuff right then. But the crawl space. And the banks! You end up to wait. One percent of the crawl spaces have 99% of the good things. The rest, sometimes they troll you. There's like, they have a bad item. And then there's a little crevice that has a good item, but there's no means with which to get to the good item. Question marks, huh? Hmm, I don't remember. Big red question mark. Is this a good item? I guess we won't know until we pick it up. It's a bad item. <laughs> it's turned into another pretty bad item, but you know what? It's... no, it's... there's a very limited silver lining there, but that's okay. Not every item has to be good to have fun in Isaac, just 80% or so. And I think we just got a kill shot with it there, so I'm feeling pretty happy about it. How am I doing? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. It's the same day. This is always the test of banter. Is okay, you, you, look, the first 35, 40 minutes of Isaac banter, you know, t typically ends up being one video, tends to be downhill. And I, I mean downhill in like the effort way it's it's easy like when you pedal a bicycle or walk downhill the rest of it tends to be uphill because you're fabricating banter out of thin air so i'm having to pull things forward um and mo and the other thing is that people have very high standards these days can i tell you people do not appreciate uh the and not i'm not gonna say how hard it is but how all-encompassing to your life raising a child is one of the most common refrains in my Twitch chat these days is like, we get it, you have a child, can you talk about something else? Brother, you, they say talk about what you know, and I'm living a Peppa Pig existence right now, to be honest with you. So like, I'm just speaking from experience. Uh, you know what I will say, so my daughter turned two, close to a month ago. Um, that's like the recommended age to, if, if you're going to have your child have some screen time, um, that's the recommended age to start allowing it, um, even though we went a little bit early, because, uh, well, what can I say? We're digital creators ourselves. So we got her started. We had her watching Blippi straight out the womb. Just kidding. Blippi, footnotes for those of you who are not familiar with the ecosystem. Blippi is the name of a very popular uh, children's content creator. He, like, goes to the mall and stuff like that. And, and, and apparently, look, I, I know some of Blippi's history as a, a aspiring online comedian, but apparently he makes great content. I refuse to let my daughter watch it because as a YouTuber myself, I don't want her to watch YouTube videos. It's too close to the bone, I'd say. Plus, it's my competition. Um, but, so we, we have our daughter watching some Peppa Pig. Then she used her touchscreen, which is incredible to me that she's already there, but she used her touchscreen to navigate to another video and it was a, a media property called Wolfu, W-O-L-F-O-O. -O. And I, she clicked on it, I think, because she thought it was Peppa Pig. And it's the art style is almost exactly the same. The, the way the episodes are structured is almost exactly the same, except it's, uh, it's not British, it's from Vietnam, but, but in English. Uh, at least on, you know, if you're searching for it in English, they have it in other languages too. Um, and the episodes frequently devolve into scatological humor. <laughs> like, you could go read the Wikipedia article, because I, as soon as I started watching, and the episodes are like seven seconds long each, but as soon as I started watching an episode of this, I was like, this is just like, this is Bizarro World Peppa Pig. This is like Peppa Pig with a goatee. You know how, like, in Star Trek, if you encounter, like, uh, William Shatner, but with a goatee, then he's the evil version? That's the reference being made there. Um, I'm not thrilled about Nodleaf, by the way, but whatever. We've, we've done what we could here. Um, 
Then I went to Wikipedia. It turns out they are being, it's so similar to Peppa Pig that they are being sued by the creators of Peppa Pig, although the lawsuit is apparently still pending. And then on top of, or the result at least is still pending. On top of that, it says in the Wikipedia article, um, it's made for children, but the episodes frequently feature the characters defecating or urinating. It's just a cultural difference in, I guess, acceptable humor for children of that age. I mean, we, we laugh about poops and peas and farts and stuff with our daughter. But again, it's like, you know, we laugh about it because that's what we're living right now. Two to ten times a day. Oh my god, the worst hit of all time. One of the least fine legal minds I've ever known. Two to ten times a day, we're, we're changing a... I should have re-rolled. <clears throat> we're changing a diaper, so, you know. She finds it funny, we find it funny. I'm not, I don't have any actual problem with Wolfu, except that it, it seems like a lot worse than Peppa Pig, but I don't, I'm just interested, okay, good start, good start, I'm just interested if any parents out there have had any, uh, have had any dealings with Wolfu. But otherwise, oh, uh, what the heck? I was playing the game and it just popped up, uh, it was like, hey, now would be a great time to update your Adobe Creative Cloud. Hey, y computer, look at, look at me, look at me, look me in the eyes. You work for me, okay? It's not the other way around. I don't work for you. I don't work for computer. Computer work for me. So stop taking my control away to do some uh, Microsoft Windows user account control type stuff. I'm going to say no to it every time. You catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. You know what you should do? If it's important for me to have a Windows update, rather than put a Windows update you know, progress, uh, like basically a progress bar on the screen that lies to you and tells you that it's only 30% done, even though the last 70% takes 200% longer than the first uh, 30%. Wait a minute, that math might check out, I apologize. What you should do is during the Windows update, just put up a cute picture of a cat or something like that. Then I'd be like, oh man, I could really go for a cute picture of a cat right now. Ergo, I'm gonna do this Windows update. You show me the behavior you want, and I'll structure the incentives in such, a way, in such a way to get it. I'm scared. I'm... Might have been the greatest bomb in history. Like, the greatest accidental explosion. Um, I'm still a little frightened, but... At least we, we stand to get a little further out of the room. I can't really blame Isaac for this one, man. Like, I, I definitely blame myself. We didn't have to pick up... Uh, the range upgrade from the last boss. We didn't have to take so much damage in the first place. Like, a lot of things have gone wrong to get us to this point. I don't know what's going on in this room. I'm scared. I don't I don't know how to get to the... Uh... Don't know how to get to the sack. Ah, we will not be getting to the sack. That's, that's the fun part. Does he know? All right. We're moving. We're moving. And we're schmoovin'. But we're also not dead yet, you know? Don't don't get it twisted up. It's always the second video and the third... I mean, there were times I was recording up to, like, six Isaac episodes a day. Sometimes more if I was getting ready to be away for a, a length of time. I don't know how I summon that banter. Especially, like, without a, a, a chat sidebar on the side. Where people would just ask questions like, What are your feelings on Tide Pods? And then I could respond with something like, To be honest with you, I resisted the pod for a long time. Uh, I thought, you know, what's the problem with liquid detergent? Why reinvent the wheel? You know, we don't need to build a better mousetrap if your mousetrap's working for you. Then I started using the pods, and it turns out I got no problem with the pods. I don't know if maybe they're slightly more expensive, but... Uh, you know what I appreciate about it? Is that I always knew that fabric softener was good to use. But I never bought it, because it felt like a waste of money. Now... With the fabric softener built into the pods, it's like how they started like uh, adding like fluoride to water. I don't know why. Why should I have to buy my own fluoride? Just add that stuff at the at the water treatment plant and and let me be on my way, right? I think it's like a societal good. Am I trying to say Tide Pods are a societal good? Well, I think that would be the funniest takeaway from this farcical bit. So sure, let's say let's say Tide Pods have been a net good for society. You know what else would be a net good for society? Um, me getting a good item in this item room? You might say it's not going to be good for society, it's just going to be good for you. Well, am I not part of society? Is man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? You ever think about that? I didn't think so. Bet not. 
Can they make Love It or List It on HGTV in the current real estate climate? I'm gonna roll. I'm a genius. I'm... Still a genius, maybe? I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I, what I'm trying to say, essentially... <clears throat> I don't think anybody's listing it in the current real estate environment, man. It's, it's not a seller's market. It's not a buyer's market. It's nobody's market. They should just change temporarily until things normalize, whenever that may be. They should just change the show to love it. Okay, this bit's going nowhere. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a mixture of chat's uh, favorite two subjects. HGTV shows and the macroeconomic climate. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Hey, uh, Kevin, did you hear about this one? In response to rising real estate rates without yet considerably lowered house prices, HBO has been forced to change the name of the show Love It or List It to Love It. I don't know, man. I don't feel like I can do it, but I, I feel like if I don't do it, I'm going to die. We can't get to the stuff in the other room. I can't go. I'm probably just gonna perish. Is what I'm gonna. That's that's my hunch here. That's my that's my hunch here. Is I'm just gonna perish. I feel like this could be a second secret room. Let's throw a bomb down there. I felt like I almost got myself zugzwonged there. I felt like I almost got myself into a position where I, I could not escape from the two worms. But here we are. One of the finest Isaac mines I've ever known. I'm glad we got more money. More money is more damage. More money, more problems. That sounds like a song written by somebody who... Well, I was going to say somebody who's never been rich, but that's not true. The song was by Biggie Smalls. One of the finest rapping minds the world has ever known. I'm... I can't... Be, whatever this boss is, I'm not going to beat it on half a heart. So I, I don't really know what to do. Um... I'm trapped. <laughs> I am stunned by the lack of HP that was available to us on this floor. We need to try. I don't know what I'm... Ex maybe PhD? The Bible? Temporarily allows... F no! We got, it, it saved me! It saved me! <laughs> At least it gave me the chance to be saved. So you could take the Bible back out here. Oh my god. That was, we paid a heavy toll for it, don't get me wrong, but... My word. I'm, I'm now realizing, by the way, I'm stunned. I did not accidentally kill myself with those rocket bombs when we opened up the secret room. Like, that seems... I'm very surprised. Now, this is going to be very annoying. At least you're relatively not tanky. But all these enemies you spawn are going to be annoying. Man, what I wouldn't give for, like, a single bomb right now. Hey, by the way, in case you're wondering um, how I found the strength within myself to, to stop playing Isaac literally every single day after uh, a decade of doing it, I advise you to look at the on-screen product right now. Sometimes, not always, and the game, overall, the, you got to take the good with the bad. Okay, but sometimes the game can get a little tedious. You find yourself in a situation with limited damage. Limited damage means you take longer to kill bosses. Taking longer to kill bosses makes you more likely to take damage against the bosses. Makes you less likely to get deals with the angel and deals with the devil. You know, it's like, uh, it's, it's, it, occasionally these runs can get a little Sisyphusian. What did you just call me? Oh, I'm, I may still die anyway. And I, I'm really, like, I'm... I'm, I'm giving it everything she's got, Captain. If we don't fight to the death, they will kill us both. Stay back. Foul beast. I lived. <laughs> HP, maybe? A little HP? Thank you! That's not what I asked for. I meant from the boss, but still. Okay. Magic 8 ball. And the lovers, dude! We lived! I need to roll the D100. This is a problem right now. The big problem is not dying in Isaac. The big problem is 
I only have 35 more minutes before I have to leave for daycare pickup. And I really don't want to leave an Isaac run suspended in media res, okay? So I'm hoping that the game will see fit to... It'll deign me worthy to receive a damage upgrade or like some kind of unbelievably strong offensive or defensive improvement uh, when I press the space bar next. Now, I've, I've been on these runs before. Oftentimes, they can work out. You know what you need? You, the main thing... Oh, my deal with the devil chance. The main thing you need to do is just hold out till luck is on your side. There's too many good items in the game for you to expect to never get one. And you can walk that through. I think I phrased it properly. Oh, no. <laughs> Rerolled all the enemies, too. But Dead Onion plus, like, better damage. Like, I'm feeling like this is a much better setup. Don't get me wrong. Hi, Tomo, by the way. Do you want to get out of the room, buddy? I feel like if we had to, we could make this work. I don't, I don't feel like we need to reroll unless we need to save ourselves. Let's put it that way. Like, obviously, it's not perfect. My reflection is not really something I'm that interested in. Although, the fact that we have, like, piercing shots is make maybe this is actually really good although i'm almost dead again that seems to be happening a lot hey buddy magic skin we should try it maybe we stick here and we use magic skin on the on the rooms with the highest possible yield like um obviously it deals with the angel obviously it deals with the devil if we're lucky enough to get him but even secret rooms i think secret rooms have the highest possible value items in them on average of course, that requires us to use our one bomb very effectively. A pill? I'll take. Hi, Tomo. Do you want to leave, buddy? I'll let you out. I'm not, uh, not a, not a monster. Here you go. You want to leave? Let's, let's get out of here. If only I could leave the, uh, the run that we're on right now. I really don't feel comfortable going to the cursed room. Uh, even though I could technically live, uh, there's, as the Offspring said, as the inimitable Dexter Holland said on the Offspring's album Americana, there's more to living, baby, than only surviving. I'm not there, but I'm still trying. That's from Staring at the Sun. Not, not one of the most well-known songs from the album, but the album itself is relatively well-known. You may know it. I believe he said, um... Maybe life is like a ride on a freeway. Dodging bullets while I'm trying to find my way. Everyone's around, but no one does a darn thing. That, I would say that's not really... Um, that's not my experience. I don't really think life is like driving on a freeway. I think it's more like life is a highway, and I'm going to ride it all night long. And if you're going my way, and here's the next part of that little quagmire, I'm going to drive it all night long? Something like that? Um, so here's a... I, how could I not, right? I think we should do it this way first. Do this. Ho, ho, ho. Then grab this. And then I feel like... Um, so there's two ways this could go. And I want you to know that I'm okay with either of them. One of them is that the next time we use magic skin, we'll um, die ten times in a row, nine times in a row, whatever. Because when we respawn from nine lives, we'll still have a busted heart container. The other way is that every time we use magic skin, we'll lose one of our nine lives. Both of those uh, are very funny. And one of them, I actually feel like sacking a life to use magic skin it makes, well, we might as well give it a try, makes perfect sense. Like, I, I think that's actually sensible strategy. And then you just, you know, try to pile in as many resources as you can on the, the run where, like, you're actually going to make a, an honest go of it. Can't really use bombs here. That's, that's Oh, I'm so stupid. That, what a horrible dodge. I'm dead. And then I came back. See, like, I came back with the busted, uh, with the busted containers. Oh my god, the dodges, man. It's almost, like, worth dying 
to come back with a 36% chance to get a deal with the devil like we did last time. Last time I did it accidentally. This time I kind of want to do it on purpose. But yeah, I, I do feel like there's a chance if I press the space bar, um, I, I, you know, I won't be in rush hour three. I'm a little scared by that, but also I'm a little, can I tell you something? Can I tell you I'm a little excited by that? I'm going to try something very strange. We're, we're probably going to lose two lives in the process here. That's not a metaphor. I mean, like, you know, sometimes people say, like, you die twice. Once when you uh, die, and then once when your name is uttered for the last time. It's nothing, like, Scandinavian like that. This is just, I think we may actually lose two lives in the process here. But let me, let me check it out. I'm dead. I'm alive. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling like that was well worth it. Okay, dude, this, this game still got some meat to mine. Some meat to eat. Some diamonds left to mine. You know, what? I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's the eye of the spider. It's poison in one bite. I refuse to take cursed dice because I, I can't afford to let myself get D100'd right now. All right, and this time we're actually going to get a deal with the devil. Now, I, I don't actually, and again, this is, I'm apologizing because, you know, we're doing Isaac talk. It's not what this Isaac series is all about. Talking about Isaac? Yeah. Yeah. Talking about the game? Ridiculous. Yeah, maybe in episode 1,336, but we've come a long way. I would say, um, I think it's possible that the right thing to do is not use magic skin inside of uh, a devil room when we get one. Because the average devil item, I don't think is worth a life. At least blind. But I do think that, like, the, the curse rooms and the secret rooms make perfect sense. I think those make a lot of sense. Run. I have made it. Like, we have a curse room right here. And I don't think using it will... Now that I think about it, I don't think using it will kill me. It will leave me with, like, one spear at heart, which is going to be scary enough, but also gives me a very solid chance of becoming Guppy. Vengeful Spirit. I'm, I'm just... I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and say it. Vengeful Spirit was not worth what we paid for it there, but that's why they call it gambling. If it paid out every time, they would call it going to work, Okay. Ignoring the very, very small percentage of people who have made it work as professional gambl gamblers like that guy on Jeopardy. We might as well take because we have no other options available to us. I'm not interested. Hey, hey, here's the thing. If they want me to play a key beggar, here's what you can do, okay? You can make it so that the key beggar um, isn't bad. And then I would be, I would be over the moon to give him some keys when I have a surplus as I do right now. Otherwise, though, I'm I'm not I'm not interested, man, and I'm not I'm not sold on it. Okay, I I am stunned. Well, first off, we gotta not lose too many lives here, ideally. <laughs> but I am stunned. Oh, I'm trapped. Actually, you're not stunned, brother. You're trapped. I'm stunned. We may have a chance to get a deal with the devil. Don't brimstone me. What a dodge. Still got it. Many people are saying he's still got it. Many people are saying, get those spiders out of my face. He's switching to brim mode! Get out of there! No more. No more. No more attacks. I walked on the spikes. I walked on the spikes. After, after everything we'd been through, I walked on the spikes. It hurts. Brings me a great deal of consternation, but you know it's a bit of a throw. But that's why the spikes are there. They're there, so you step on them. Doesn't get any more complicated than that. Doesn't get any simpler than that either. Okay, he's, he's rolling. He's becoming a different firing mode. We are running. Honestly, I'm, I'm fighting this guy now, and I'm like, how did we die against this guy earlier? It seems unbelievable. What was I thinking? It was so easy. 
We still had a 100% deal with the Devil Chance, which also seems unbelievable. Look, we should have just ignored it so we got the guaranteed deal with the Angel, but whatever. Two of Spades. Double my keys. Of Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Spades. The Moon. The Moon is, is very important. And Judgment. We should probably use it at the very least. I was wrong, by the way. We did not have 35 minutes to daycare. I did the math wrong. Because right now we have 34 minutes to daycare. So we got we got more time. Probably backpack actually makes sense here. But it's not really my tempo. I, I stay away from the backpack. It's a little complicated for me. It's not quite my tempo. Okay, a slot machine we don't care. But this, we, what is this? Teleports Isaac to a floor that contains every item in the game. Choosing an item from this floor teleports Isaac back to the room he came from. Yes, okay. Well, I, obviously I'm using it. But I gotta remember, what do I like in this game? <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff. I'm tempted just to go Cricket's Head right off the bat. But no, we skipped that. It's interesting. It's been a while, right? Now I'm like, what's the best item in the game? I don't know. Mom's Knife for old time's sake. We could get nine lives again. That would not give us Guppy, though. I suppose we could just get Brimstone. Mom's Knife. A guppy item? There's got to be better than that. Like, Ipecac? Ipecac's fun. It's a little scary with my reflection. Sacred Heart's amazing. Polyphemus is... You know what? Let me just let me just Google here. Best item in Isaac Afterbirth. Let's see if there's a ranker or something. Tech X. 25 of the best items in The Binding of Isaac. Best items in the bind. Top two, top ten new items in Afterbirth Plus. Okay, let's see. Number one, Jacob's Ladder. Number two, Compound Fracture. What the heck is going on here? What's <laughs> what's the best? Wait, this is not even Afterbirth. This is Repentance. I'm so out of the game, dude. Fifteen best items in the Binding of Isaac: Repentance. Okay, Death Certificate is number one. What's number two? Mega Mush. All right, it's is really good. Revelation. I snooze. Sci Fly. Uranus. Keeper's Sack. This is crazy, man. Honestly, I got to tell you, I think I'm just, I'm like a mom's knife sort of guy. I can't believe it, but you know what? For, for old time's sake, let's do it. Although, we could be, you know what? Let's just, can I tell you? Can I be the craziest individual you've ever seen? I'm just going to grab Guppy's paw and become Guppy. Now, this is not... Don't take this out of context, okay? This is not me saying that I think that Guppy's paw is the best item in Isaac. This is me saying that becoming Guppy is fun. It's a nice... Like, it's a, a great force multiplier for us. And also, it's me... Uh, I guess I would say stopping the argument. You know, as long as we, uh, as long as we get something good and we move on, I'm I'm happy with that. Ace of diamonds or ace of diamonds? I think we need ace of diamonds. Um, and I would, I don't know. I would say, you know, if you want to take that moment and you want to say, can you believe that this streamer just used death certificate to give himself guppy's paw? Then I encourage you to do so, because you know what? It's all about having fun. We're all about having fun here. And I also want to say that the other option I was considering was Mom's Knife. And I, I said, hold on, self. Is that fun? And I said, it's fun for me, but is it fun for the viewer? And I said, not really. Not as much as, uh, as becoming Guppy. So that's why I went with Guppy's Paw, okay? Now you might say, next time you get Death's uh, Certificate, here's what you should do. I'm here to tell you. I don't know if there will be a next time. Not because, uh, you know, I'm never going to play Isaac again. That's not the case. But but rather because I think Death Certificate shows up so rarely. I also... I, hold on. I, I'm being overly defensive for no reason, essentially. But I think you got to acknowledge. Our, our Zane actually allowed us to survive this run. Am I wrong? The D100 plays allowed... And, and the Magic Scab plays. The D100 plays kept us alive. Magic Skin allowed us to thrive a little bit, and then Magic Skin gave us Death Certificate. 
Like every single one of those guppy pickups came from from magic skin. I'm not I'm not tempted. Back foul demon. I'm not tempted. All right. Well, I think I, I wouldn't say we got it like locked in. It's possible to lose a game and while well, being guppy. It's not common. It's not likely. But if it was ever going to happen, it would it would probably happen when I'm like a little out of practice, you know? Let's take this myostasis or whatever it's called. My so my sodas? My toe? My toe? Because Lord knows I'm probably leaving some stuff behind. Oh, thank you. Anyway, how am I doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, finally. Took you long enough. It's Tuesday, my dudes. Tuesday, not a big day for me. Tuesday, Thursday, I'm on uh, bedtime duty. I'm on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, bedtime duty. Give my wife a little bit more time to relax on the weekends. I take a little bit more time during the week. Um, these days, it's a lot of like, you know, saved. It's a lot of, you know, morning till night busting your tail. Wednesday's Survivor. It does it. Listen, here's the thing. I haven't watched the new season of Survivor yet. We're like eight episodes in or something like that. Eight, that doesn't change the fact that Wednesday's still Survivor night. Hey, I, I, I may not be watching the season, but I thought it was like once you're a, a Survivor viewer, you're a Survivor viewer for life, man. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm a little resentful of how much good TV is on the air right now. Um, and that might only be Survivor, which you might not even think is a good show, and House of the Dragon. But I, I, I can't keep up, man. You know, the other day, a friend of the channel, Apollo, said you should catch up on House of the Dragon. The finale is next week. And I said, season or series? He said, lull season. I said, I'm not sure I can make it, man. Two seasons? What am I, made of time? <laughs> right now? Just, so I'm being obviously ridiculous. I'm just... But still, I have... Instead, I end up uh, watching a little bit of garbage on my phone because my phone has Netflix. I haven't hooked HBO up to my phone yet. So I've, I've made my way through uh, almost all the available, currently available episodes of The Mole. Which, I gotta tell you, is pretty good, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go down that road because I also know that people are gonna be like, why are you watching that? Anyway, sorry, sorry, moving on. I just, I, I had a message in Discord. It was, uh, it was someone asking, how did you get such an insane high score in Dome Keeper? What can I say? I don't know. Well, I had Chad telling me what to do. That's a big part of it. <laughs> Another part of it is getting uh, Teleporter and Probe, which are very, very good upgrades for sure. Great game, though. If you, if you haven't been following the content, if you're like an only Isaac viewer, you don't even... I'm not going to tell you to watch Dome Keeper. Like, I'm literally saying I don't have enough time to watch... Like an HBO uh, $100 million per episode uh, television program with like Emmy quality acting in it and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, watch my Dome Keeper episodes. Like, I'm, come on, I have some self-awareness at the very least. People will say insane stuff, though. They'll be like, yeah, but unlike House of the Dragon, unlike The Godfather Part 2, your streams are actually good. And I'm like, don't listen. Don't lie to me. I wouldn't, I don't know if any stream is good. And I, I don't mean any disrespect to Jerma on that, okay? If anyone's streams are good, it's probably his, okay? But what streams are is, like, digestible. Let's not lie to each other and say that the reason that we watch streams is because they're so entertaining 100% of the time. Otherwise, we'd be watching uh, classic films, like 2001's Road Trip, starring Tom Green and Sean William Scott, of course, stars Brecken Meyer, but I'd say most people probably remember Tom Green and Sean William Scott from the movie more than anything else. Um, what they are is extremely digestible. It's like the radio. You never turn on the radio because you're like, oh, I'm like going to be entertained right now. You turn on the radio because you're like, well, I'm driving somewhere and this thing doesn't have like Apple CarPlay. So let's just turn on the radio so I'm like a little less bored while I get through the drudgery of my workday. It's digestible, and that's there's nothing wrong with it. I'm, I, I can't use it once more. What do you think? Do you think it's worth the... We could probably buy one or two items out of it. I'm willing to give it a chance. I don't... 
No, we're not gonna. Well, no, we're gonna get literally one. Okay, okay, it's fine. I forgot we were as far in as we were actually. Cause mostly because the start of the run was so bad, I thought that we would be probably dead by now. Okay, I would say worth. <laughs> I would. I would say highly worth uh, what we paid for it there. We may get another opportunity as well. Holy cow. And you know what? Let me tell you. A lot of people will say it's luck. I say it's skill that we got Sacred Heart. And you know why? Because I almost took Sacred Heart with Death Certificate. And if I had done that, then it wouldn't have been there to get from the, uh, from the Magic Scab. What can I or, well from the stairway to heaven that came as a result of the magic scab, which I keep calling magic scab even though it's magic skin. So I would say hero's not a word we use lightly around these parts, but yeah. I like the sound of that. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. I really I I do think of streaming as kind of like the modern day car radio, you know? And I don't mean that in a derogatory sense. I just, like, anytime, myself included, because I think everyone's prone to, like, you know, fits of delusions of grandeur or self-importance. Anytime I, I catch myself or another streamer being like, well, I don't think this is really right for my content. The kind of content that I prefer to make is, well, it's a little bit like a pixie song. It's like it's quiet, then it's loud, then it's quiet, and I'm like, hey, listen. I'm not saying know your place. Ooh, all I'm saying is that I think even once you know why people are watching you, then you can, I think, make content that's more congruent with that. See, I'm, I'm, I'm getting delusional about it even as we speak right now. Even as I'm making a joke, I can't help but be prone to the delusions of grandeur. Maybe because they're not delusions. Maybe it's the reality. No, okay, again, that's the second order delusion of grandeur. And now we've gone, we've got cross mogination and so on and so forth. Don't even know what you do. Don't even really know what you do. You're broken, I think. And you got anything up here for me? I don't know. I'm just going to be using Burkano for no reason. Why don't you go ahead and give me a holy card, I suppose. Might as well. Why don't you give me one of these while we're here? Guardian Angel. That ends up killing me. I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> anyway. I used to be... Oh, we got to play like such a... Wow, we can't play this on Tuesday. We played it last Thursday. There needs to be at least 96 hours between each segment of X, Y, and Z. Now I'm like, nah, man. People aren't going live, watching you just because you're like, uh, this is what I'm playing today. Oh, the, uh, if he, I won't watch any streamer that plays the same thing two days in a row. Instead, I'm like, just go live and argue about like pizza toppings. People, people want to hear you in one ear while also like, you know, listening to their boss at the all hands digital Zoom meeting in the other ear. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. In fact, there's some, it, it's, there's some positivity to be mined there. They, we want some like white noise companionship while we knock out some tasks that have been on our to-do list for a while. Same, sometimes I'll like listen to a podcast while I'm you know, shaving or something like that. By the end of the shave, I'm like, I got no idea what they were even saying on the podcast. But to be honest, it, it made the time go by faster. Anyway, I don't know how we found ourselves on this topic for conversation, but that's why I always say the banter, it's, it's, am I okay? What have I done? I've pogged. Okay, that's it. I pogged. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. I can't believe it. We won that one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.